How would you have last ten minutes you'd have probably taken one now, wouldn't you? I think after the first half, you know, the way we'd started, um, you know, we didn't even have a shot, I think we half an effort and goal in the first half. Which is, is it's not like us. Um, we looked as though uh, one or two players that, you know, were obviously interrupted with, with Roy McBain pulling out. Um, after the pre-match meal, has they been feeling well, so we had to make a change there, which kind of interrupted us. But disappointed with the goal we lost. Probably their only real effort in, in the first half, although I thought they controlled possession. Um, but uh, I, I think um, with 15 minutes to go, even with five minutes to go, I was quite happy to take uh, take a one nil defeat at that point. Your keeper had a few great saves, didn't he? But Nelson's just been, you know, he had a sticky spell recently with a chat about it, but, you know, over the piece, Nelson's been first class for us. Uh, he's been terrific for us, football club, great experience, and some terrific saves, and, you know, disappointed with the defending at, at times. Um, you know, it was it was careless, it, it seemed as though it was individual errors. You know, but we've got a couple of players out there who are really, really struggling with injury, but they're, they're putting themselves in the line, and I can't ask them anymore. Um, you know, and... At the end of the day, you know, we've, we've come away here for a point that maybe wasn't deserved. I've got to be honest and say that Brian will be disappointed. But uh, you know, you've got to take the breaks when you come your way, and, and hopefully we can uh, we can capitalise on that come Sunday. Does it feel like a win in a way? Well, I, I wouldn't say it feels like a win because you know the ties are still very much in the balance here. An excellent side, and they showed that tonight. Um, but hopefully, you know, the breakers get behind us. Um, we've got a lot to, a lot of stake. You know, first division uh, at stake. Um, I don't think anybody's favourites. I think it's very much in the balance. Um, it's about who makes uh, least mistakes and what goalkeeper makes the most saves. And hopefully, Nelly's in top form again. But um, we have to nurse it tonight and try and get everybody rested up. And hopefully, we'll have a, a full squad to choose from come Sunday. Just need to take more of your chances on Sunday. Do you? Well, we certainly need to create more than we created tonight, um, and I would expect to do that at home. Um, you know, it might be, it might be. I think, certainly think it'll be one of the odd goal, and hopefully, hopefully that uh, you know we can be positive in the last third. But we've certainly got to defend better than we did tonight. Um, you know, we can of rely on our goalkeeper to make the saves that he did tonight uh, on Sunday. We will we'll certainly find ourselves uh, still in the second division, but uh, I'm, I'm proud of the players because they kept going, they stuck at it, and. Uh, you know, they've given us a realistic chance um, and a great chance to, to try and uh, move up a league. Would you have taken it at the start of the season, just one home game away from the first well, division? I've, I've, that's that's the way I left it with the players at the end of my team top there and I said to them, uh, if you'd offer me at the start of the season, you've got one game against Air United to get to the first division. Yeah. And I think uh, I think we'd all have taken that. Alright, cheers Jim. Thank okay, you guys. Well, right, thanks. Cheers. Mm -hmm.